man this truck has so much protection down below and then check that out full size wheel and spare welcome back to JB reviews I have a 2023 Chevy Silverado ZR2 with the AEV bison package and it looks absolutely amazing this is my first time actually seeing one in person and yeah it looks amazing special shout out to Jerry Siner here in Salt Lake City I am surprised that this truck is available so if you do want to get a bison right now give them a call this is the window sticker for the ZR2 we're going to be reviewing today this is the spec colors engine and be sure to pause it but this is going to be your standard equipment and then base price is going to be $71,500 and here's that ZR2 Bison Edition at $7,895 and then everything that's going to come inside of that package there. Technology package was selected as well and here's everything that's in there. Sunroof, multi-flex tailgate and here is a credit. Destination comes in at $1895 with a total price of $84,650 and then here's the Philly economy numbers to the left. Now, as you guys just saw, this is not a cheap truck and this is not a cheap package, but it's definitely worth it because you get a very aggressive front bumper. And look at the huge skid plate down below too. That's metal. That is insanity. You have the Multimatic DSSV, which is a dynamic suspension spool valve, and it can pretty much adjust on the fly when you're going off road really aggressive up front here you have tons of clearance too if you do plan to go on rock climbing here are the projector style fog lights and man check out this meaty bumper good job chevy for going with aev because they have the best style bumpers on the market like they're the only ones i'd buy from love the front grill pretty much what you've seen on the other zr2s Full LED headlights with turn signals and animations. And then check that out. And then the hood is still aggressive. Wow, and then onto the side, you do have a different style wheel from AEV. Again, they do a great job with everything. Bumpers, wheels, all of it. Love the running boards, which I'll show you here in a second. Now, these are going to be the Goodyear Wrangler Territory MTs. I have driven uh, a ZR2 in the past, and these tires have low noise, surprisingly. They're a lot better than the dirt tracks. And then here's the tire size. LT275-70-18. Independent front suspension. And they do add some fender flares on the side, too, with the ZR2. Two inch factory lift. Painted mirror caps. Surprisingly, there's no convex. Smart key system, and check out these high clearance steps, too. They're going to really help protect the side of the cab. Now, using them as a step. I don't know. You may not be able to. They're definitely close to the side. And they do add a nice appearance too. Now one thing I like about the ZR2 is they do add an additional leaf in the leaf pack here. So there's five leafs in the main pack. And you can see one of the shocks right there. Now I did not show you guys the capacity for the tire. So here it is right here. 2,680 pounds at 50 psi oh wow check out the rear bumper now you do lose the step but that is a-okay because you have this really nice style AV off-road bumper look at that that looks so good and they mat out this part of the the tailgate Yeah, I think the $8,000 is worth it, guys. Black bow tie. Class 4 receiving hitch down below. And they do provide two camera inputs with a 7 pin. They still provide those parking sensors, too. And 
and there is a grab handle light power plug 120 volt and you have two camera up top one for the bed and one for the rearview mirror too inside I cannot wait to show you guys the payload because I'm pretty sure you're gonna lose a little bit of that camera and light for your conventional hitch Wow. Now, they did have some skid plates down below. Let's go on this side and check them out. So, oh yeah, look at that. Wow. That's for the fuel tank. And then there's a bigger one for the transfer case right there. And then they also have one for the rear axle too. Let's see if we can see it better from the back. Yeah, so you can see how they installed that. And that's just gonna help protect that diff from damage if you do plan on going off-road. And they do give you a full-size spare with the wheel. Nice. I think this truck finished in black is the best. Looks vicious. Now let's go ahead and pop the hood. Now for 2023, I believe they added a diesel option for the ZR2. But this is gonna be the standard engine, which is a 6.2 liter V8, 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque, made it to a 10 speed transmission, 323 gears out back. I would like to see maybe a 342 or 373, but 323s are better for fuel economy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I've always been a fan of this interior. Soft touch really nice graphics and designs and check out the surround for the Bose sound system looks really good here's some of your controls seat memories door controls there and then check out these seats wow these seats have nice bolstering even right here you have that AEV embroidered in the headrest and you have a power steering column AEV floor mats. Nothing done to the pedals though. Here's some of your controls. Heads up display. 12.3 inch screen. And that's going to be a 13.4. So as I mentioned, stepping in, you got to be careful. You don't want to scratch the side of your truck. So I wouldn't even use these as steps personally. But yeah, check out your steering wheel. Paddle shifters. And let's go ahead and start it up really quickly. Really nice design. You kind of can see the heads up display right there. Check out the dash too, the stitching. They put the stitching further back. And that's for the other camera view above. Here's some of your controls up here. Home link, LED lights, and this one did have that sunroof. I like the fact that they give you a black roof too, versus like giving you like a lighter gray color. Although there is some grays inside this interior though. Now here's some of the controls down below. Dual climate control, trailer brake, ventilated seats, and you have two settings for the heat. You can lock that front and rear axle, or you can just lock the rear. Downhill assist, traction control. Hopefully you guys can see these buttons, I apologize. Cautions, you can drop the bed. And then auto stop start, parking sensors, and lane keep assist right there. Yeah, this 13.4 inch display has like a lot of different functions to it. I'll go over that in a second. But yeah, hopefully you guys can see down below Really nice accents around here. Even on the sides, great accents. Center console. You have a type C and a type A, and another power plug inside here. This is illuminated as well. 
And I don't know if you guys noticed, but you did have two more USBs. Now let's go on this side really quickly. So here are the seat controls. For the passenger side, looks great. Storage above. And then look at this trim piece too. Now there is some noticeable hard plastics down here, but it's all good. It still looks good though. I'll give it to Chevy. They did a great job with the ZR2. Now they just need to add a supercharger to the 6.2 liter and they will be in business. Yeah, this is super nice. Heated outboard seats. You have two more USBs, type A, type C. A little bit of storage below the seat. Flat floor surface. And one more look at that door card for you. Now we'll show you guys some of the technologies in here too. Looks really good. Now you do have push button start. Here are the keys. Now this is a full screen for your gauge cluster. Nothing new here. And all I want to show you is you can actually adjust the layout of this. You can also see specific things on each side. Hopefully you guys can see me changing that. And then you can also change what you see below too. Very easy to update this. You have other settings in here too. Now for this screen, you do have a lot of different information that you can choose to see or you can take away from this uh, menu as well. Yeah, super nice. And driving modes are right below. You do have tow haul mode. Now notice how when you hit the tow haul mode button, it takes away the battery and it shows you the transmission temperature down below. You also have three driving modes. And here's the 13.4 inch display. Now one thing I want to show you, I'm not going to go through all this for you guys, but if you would like to have your Apple CarPlay up top here, let's just say you have an Apple phone, you're not going to use Android, right? So you can just put this on this side. You can also slide this over here. And then that way you can just have the things that you really want on this screen. I like that they give that to you that way. This does have the 360 camera. I don't know if you notice them on the mirrors, but you can see the front and rear. You can also turn on the bird's eye view. You see the front and the back. And this would be good for going off road. That's the back and then this is the front. And then if you tow a trailer, you can zoom into that conventional hitch there. And then here's the bed view. You can zoom in as well. And lastly, actually let me show you the climate. You can also control it outside of the screen, but I'd like to show it to you here too. There you go, that's what it looks like. And you need to figure out where that home button is. That's very useful to get back to this menu. Here's your maps. You can do full screen. You also have this menu here for audio uh, for your trailer. And then they have an analog clock there too. So this is really a step in the right direction for Chevy. In the past, their interiors were definitely lacking. So this is a really nice system. So here is the gross axles for this truck. 3,800 pounds per. And then here's the trailering. Gross fuel weight rating is going to be 7,100 pounds with a gross combined weight rating at 15,000. Curb weight is 6,052 pounds. So when you get the AV, you're going to really drop that payload at 1,048 pounds. Now I would like to see Chevy raise the GVWR to like maybe 7,400 pounds because this truck is definitely lacking a little bit there. But all in all, this is not a truck you tow with. This is a truck that you go out and flex on people because it looks so good. But again, special shout out to Jerry Signer Chevy here in Salt Lake City. This truck's available. Be sure to jump on it before it's gone.